In just about two hours from now at 12.21 a.m., NASA will launch a new kind of mission to see if a spacecraft would be able to change the direction of an asteroid if one were to ever threaten Earth. Sound familiar? Here's Xavier Walton. This next story is yet another example of science fiction intersecting with reality. What is this thing? It's an asteroid, sir. How big are we talking? Sir, our best estimate is 97.6 billion. It's the size of Texas, Mr. President. Has, has Armageddon just kind of been in the back of your head? So this is a better method than Armageddon. That's Betsy Congdon. Go Dart. The people that make Dart, you're in charge people, of them. That's, yep, that's my job. No pressure. This is NASA's first ever planetary defense mission. No superheroes or drilling necessary. The spacecraft actually guides itself into the asteroid. It's going at 15,000 miles per hour. If the spacecraft is going 15,000 miles per hour, and it's gonna take roughly 10 months to get to Dimorphos, how many miles away is that? How far is it going? The distance between the Earth and the Moon, it's about 27 times that distance. Here's DART's collision course. 10 days out, a satellite named Lisa Cube from the Italian Space Agency will separate. Then the spacecraft smashes into the asteroid, knocking it into a different orbit. Planetary defense, exactly. The asteroid NASA is targeting is the size of the Great Pyramid of Egypt, not Texas. I'm gonna get the job done. Have you heard from Bruce Willis at all? <laughs> not me personally. Has Ben Affleck reached out about Dart at all? No, apparently I'm lower on the totem pole. Dart is only a test, but it's a test NASA's preparing for it should a rock potentially send us back to the Stone Age. Science fiction meets reality. And it's really important. DART next September will determine if this planetary defense method is feasible in the future. At the Johnson Space Center, Xavier Walton, KHOU 11 News.